In the previous two sections, we saw a glimpse of Mallinatha's work in the form of two beautiful shlokas uh, on Lord Ganesha and another on Saraswati. In this one, I would like to highlight the propriety or auchitya of his Mangala shlokas. Mallinatha starts every commentary with a set of shlokas that are a mix of fresh and repetitive ones. So one might be inclined to dismiss those as, oh, I know these. But no, we would be missing some real gems. In, a, in fact, a deep analysis would show us that those fresh lokas are completely in tune with the flavor of the text. To understand the mood of the poet, upon whose work the commentary will be, and adapt to his style is also a great quality of a commentator. Like a violinist changing his playing style to suit the main vocalist, he accompanies in a Carnatic music concert. For instance, let's take Bhatti Kavya and its commentary Sarvapathina by Mallinatha. Ravana Vadha, written by Bhatti or Bhatti Kavyam as it is popularly known, follows the Kathavastu of Ramayana. Bhatti uses the story of Rama to write a study guide for Panini's Ashtadhyayi as a way to show the practical application of many grammatical forms. So the focus is on two things, Ramayana and Vyakarana. The first shloka of Mallinatha's commentary reflects both of these points. Asha se nitya makantham Rama yanakatham britam shiravash chuluka nishpeyam payam payam pramoditum nityam pramoditum asha se I wish to delight always. In what? In Ramayana Kathamritam, the story of Ramayana, which is like nectar. And Mallinatha drinks this nectar repeatedly, payam payam, up to his throat, akantham, to feel the joy. This Ramayana nectar is nishpeyam, worthy of being received by the Shravashchuluka. Now, when we wish to drink by hand, the hollowed posture of the hand is called chuluka. So the ear has the shape of the hand, this chuluka, to receive, hear, drink the rasamritam. The usage payam payam in the shloka has the pratyaya namul to show that repeated action pitva pitva. And the relevant sutra that comes into play is Abhikshnye Namulcha 3.4.22 by which Tva in the word Pitva is replaced by Namul. With this Mangala Shloka, Mallinatha brings out the two focal points of Bhatti Kavyam, Ramayana and Vyakarana. We will be back again with another Shloka to highlight this Auchityam in Mallinatha's work. Thank you.